and Gate Tree Nation. I'm Drake the True Snake. And I just woke up. Good morning, Cake Drain Nation. I'm Kane Martin. And I'm Rachel Martin. And we just woke up. <sighs> morning. What's up, Cake Drain Nation? <laughs> now, I know what you're thinking. Where was yesterday's episode? Well, yesterday was my wife's birthday. So we didn't have an episode because I was busy doing awesome birthday stuff. I'm sure you guys forgive me. You still got the Daily Slither. It's all good. We're back. It's going to be cool. But unfortunately, today is going to be kind of a short episode um, just for a number of reasons. But it's still going to be awesome. Are you? Check out Drake while he talks about some awesome Canadian holidays. Good morning, Cake Drain Nation. Rise and shine. So today I want to talk to you guys as accordance to Canadian Week. Then I'm going to talk about some Canadian holidays that are celebrated up there that we may not know too much about. The first one I want to talk about is called Epiphany. Now this day is uh, recognizes the uh, three wise men's visit to baby Jesus. Now a lot of places have like special services or there's um, there's a thing called mumming. Not mummy, mumming, where people would dress up in disguise or whatever to hide their identities and go to their friends' houses and perform songs or dances and stuff like that. It's a really fun tradition. I don't know if they still do, but I think that's a really cool holiday. The second one I want to talk about is Patriots Day. This is in Quebec to celebrate their rebellion against the British. The way they celebrate it is very similar to the way we celebrate Fourth of July. And they do like, there's speeches held, there's big organizations that do uh, like different stuff. It's a really cool day to celebrate their rebellion and freedom. So that's really a good one. And finally, the most famous Canadian holiday in my eyes, Boxing Day. Now Boxing Day is, now it's just a, after Christmas sales and stuff like that. What it originated with is that um, servants were, were able to give, were able to take extra food that were left over from the Christmas feast to their families and stuff in boxes, aka Boxing Day. So, and today, uh, one of the traditions is that, I think they still do, at least it used to, employers would give gifts to their employees. It would be food or, you know, service, people who give them, who do services for them. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed this list of Canadian holidays and Hopefully, maybe you guys can help celebrate them or just give an extra observance to Canada, a little extra awareness. So we will see you guys tomorrow, bright and early. Comment below if you think we should have some of these holidays in America. And then maybe we'll have like a special whenever we uh, celebrate one of these Canadian holidays. All right, peace out. Remember, peace! My butler's gone, he went away.